Then if you have testimony, please go to our testimony stand by the left hand side towards the front. Praise the Lord. The lady standing by my side is Christina Okui. She had glaucoma and cataract for 20 years. As a result of that, she could not read without her glasses. But after the prayer of the man of God, she got a healing and she could read without glasses. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord! My testimony goes like this. By the grace of God, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I came from Isela's of a town, from Delta State. Church here. To come and visit my daughter in St. John. This high problem has been on. They took me to hospital at Papa Hospital. They cut it short. No weekend. Now, Started when our daddy came to Calabar, when he doing signs and wonders, I got my miracle. I testify in my location that I was seen partially. But yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, it was clear to yesterday and today. I said, God, who has done this, may his glory honor, appreciation, majesty, dominion, they are strive to heal in Jesus' name. Amen. Please read Please, for can us. You, can you read this now? Read this song without the glasses. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. From partial to perfect touch. The Lord will touch you perfectly in Jesus' name. Before the second person, if you are among those who were interviewed yesterday, but no opportunity was given to you to give your testimony, please kindly go, come forward here now to join the, uh, go to the stand for them to see you and confirm you were there yesterday. Praise the Lord. God is doing great things in our midst. The lady by my side is Sabana Baridon. She had paraplegia for four years. As a result of that, she could not walk. But she came to this crusade, showers of blessing. The Lord touched her. Now she could walk very well. You can see she's standing erect. She will give the testimony. Praise the Lord. 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 And they told about the company that they were coming to Pia Abu Koga. But when they were at Bandung on a top here, they were at Tumnuke. They were at Tumapi Awa. And they were at Talene. But some of them come here. Crusade, me and I never stayed. They were at Kalu. They were at Dacia. They were at Bome. Pia Awa. Some of them were at Talene. Pia Awa. They were at Talene. They were at Talene. They were at Talene. They were at Talene. They were Jesus the Lord. Just like you listen to her, her name is Mrs. Susanna Baridon, 
and she is from uh, Kani, near Bori. She had this problem for about four years now. And she, when the publicity about this crusade filled the air, she made up her mind to come. And so she came to the crusade. She came, she believed, she received. And just after the prayer of the man of God yesterday night, the acute arthritis that plagued her for about four years now was rolled away. And so we say, glory and honor be to the mighty God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's listen to social media. Let's listen to testimony from social media, please. Why we are waiting for that, those who have testimonies, please go to testimony stand at my left-hand side towards the front for them to interview you. Muyabe Ubangiji Allah. Sunana Grace S. Yedak. The Kataraba State Assembly Church. Nason Sheda Godiana Nason Ba Allah. Nason Yabe Allah da Abunda Ubangiji Allah Yai. Allah Yai Abun Mamaki da Mutumba Ze Ia Yiba. Loka Chin Nyana Nata Efe First Bon Nata Batasake Yin Weni Chikiba. The Kabaya Tazota Chiki. Tai miscarried Buddha. Eh, tai bari buda bakwe na ta kwesdin ayi mata operation so aka chire dandi na chicken di anche barata ia aifu ba don da mwandi tahuta shine da jes ya zona ama baweta na nan bafata na abujani so ni kuma na jalingo da jes ya zona se ache dukwanda yana de damwa mu daga hanu ze mana adua na daka hanu na na che ya uba ga damwana na so nyare anata iphone kuma dana daka hanu ahi adua se nyare anata kirani ta che tana de chiki chiki nan kuma wata ukwa maka da ngia makowa so haka na zauna na imata adua har ligita da sun yi wana din da ta je asibiti ligita da sun yi operation din sun tambe ta ina kin samu ma ifana Asa miki ne koya ya tache yi ikon ala ne adua ne yasa tasa mu wanang chiki shine suka kulada eta hata zota iphone tasa mu baby girl mu eh, tasa mu baby girl abunda ubangiji ala yae na roke ala ubangiji ala da yae mana ubangiji ala ndin ze sake yi muku ubangiji ala yae muku na godi da abunda ala yae Praise the name of the Lord. The sister that is standing beside me by name, Sister Grace S. Yedak, is testifying the goodness of God upon her life. She had a daughter who was married to somebody in Abuja Federal Capital, and she delivered only once. And later, she, she had Madame seven miscarriages. And when the doctor saw that she was in danger because of that miscarriages, they advised and decided to remove her womb. So they removed the womb of her daughter. But eventually in August 2017, when GS came to Taraba State for program, the mother was in Jalingo, Taraba State, and the sister was in Abuja Federal Capital. So after the message, the GS prayed for everybody. So the mother raised her hand on behalf of her daughter who was in Abuja that God would do something upon her life. After three months, God answered that prayer and the girl took in. After she took in, she had a problem at the time of delivery again and they carried her back to the same hospital. And those doctors who worked on her operation 
were so surprised because there were the people that removed the womb of that daughter of her sister. And they asked her what happened. She said her mother went for a program and the man of God prayed and the miracle happened. Eventually, the daughter delivered a bouncing baby girl. Praise the name of the Lord. Jam your hands for Jesus. Impossibilities made possible. If you have no womb tonight, you will receive your womb. You will receive your, your, your children. It is well with you. Any other one from any other locations? Before we connect, let's listen to the, the next testimony. Doctor, please, you give us the meaning of some of the sicknesses you mentioned. The terminology is too high for us. Praise the Lord. The lady by my side is Gift James. She had a road traffic accident about a month ago that affected her left upper arm. And since then, she has had severe musculoskeletal pain. She has been having severe pain on that arm. But she came for this showers of blessed crusade. After the prayer of the man of God, the pain vanished. So she will share the testimony. Praise the Lord! Brethren, I'm so happy. I thank God. My name is Keith James. I'm from my treaty suite, Liver State, Portacos of Nigeria. I was about to cross. I don't know how come that the vehicle hit me. And when it hit me, I don't know because the wicked one has been tormenting my life. He thought he, would make, he could take over my life, but the Lord said no. So when the man of God preached yesterday, after the preaching, and he prayed for healing, he says, I felt it that something has happened to me. I could no longer feel the pains any longer again. I said that Jesus, who has done this for my life, let the name of the Lord be glorified, who died for me and saved me. I don't know what to give it to him. I said that let his name be glorified. In Jesus' name, I pray. This is the hand now. I can raise it up. Amen. She felt it. You will feel your own today. You will see your own today. Let's listen to the next person. Praise the Lord. The sister by my side is in the fray cave, Udo. She had UV prolapse. That she has prolapse of the womb. The womb came down. And uh, as she attended the divine touch crusade, God touched her and the prolapse disappeared. Let's see how Praise the Lord. Brethren, my name is Sandy Freke Udo. I'm from Umogodo district in in Ime group in Iboiche, local government, in Portacourt, Nigeria. My testimony goes like this. this. This thing happened to me about three years ago. When it happens, I could not walk. I couldn't have myself. But I went to nurse. The nurses tell me that is my womb that fall because I saw something coming out of my private part. So, right from that time, I was praying and believing God. And I so much thank God because in the time of that divine touch, the Lord touched me and it was disappeared. I say, may his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. The Lord touch her, the Lord will touch you. The Lord will touch you. Let's listen to the last one before Potakot Choir 
we come up. Praise the Lord. The child study with the mother here is Marvel Oparandu. He was diagnosed of Hirschsprung disease for 10 years. That is, when he eats, he cannot really go to the toilet freely. His abdomen will be swollen up. The lower part of his stomach will be swollen. And then that had affected him severely. He was taken to the hospital and a major surgery was done for him, hoping that the problem has been resolved. But after the surgery, he experienced the same thing again. But during the divine solution crusade, his father made him to have faith to believe in God. And after the prayer of the man of God, that problem resolved permanently. Let's hear from the mother. Let them praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am Sister Prudence of Paradu. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I am of Civic Center District in Obunabali Group, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Here standing is my son, Marvel Oparadu. He has been suffering from a disease called Hirschsprung disease. Right from birth, we didn't know that. Each time I take him to the clinic, the doctor keeps saying constipation. I should give him water. I should give him fruit. I keep doing that for years, and it continues. Not until last year. It was so severe. We had to take him to the clinic. They did a series of tests, and they diagnosed him. They said he had Hirschsprung disease from birth. At a time, the place will be swollen. He won't go to school for a time. He won't go to school. At the time, he began to be depressed. He doesn't want people to come close to him. If anybody is coming to the house, he will like go and hide himself because it was so severe in his anus. The thing will just be leaking. I will put in pampas. It was serious, sleepless night. And after the surgery, the doctor said it's a major surgery. At first. I was like, no, doctor, I won't do this surgery. He said, well, you have to be ready to bear the consequence, which is death. And my husband encouraged me. We did his surgery. After everything, as if that was not enough, just this year, a year today, a year September, from then to September, this started again. And we were confused. My husband was confused. We had to call the doctor. He fixed an appointment. Before then, the crusade started. When the crusade started, my husband called him. He said, Marvel, you have to believe God. You are not going for any other surgery. He said, yes. My husband didn't stop there. He told him, now you have to fast and pray. He gave him some Bible passages to read. He did that. And at the second day of the crusade, we were in the church. He was sitting outside the church where the children are seated. We were inside. After the service, everything we were about to go. He was sitting outside. My husband came and saw him sitting down with his head raised up. And he tapped him. He was like afraid. My husband was like, what's the problem? Are you okay? He said, Dad, has G.S. finished praying? My husband said, yes. Oh, I saw G.S. G.S. told me, you are healed in Jesus' name. And then I say, amen. Since then, to today, that problem vanished away. I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Tonight, you have seen the GS. Tonight, you will see Jesus. All your problems will vanish away. Portacot Choir, please. 